Hi, welcome. This is episode five of Mike's Munchy Mayhem. So do it with me. Mm mm mm. One more time. Mm mm mm. Ha. Anyways, um, so I have to apologize for not making a video uh, last Sunday. I was so busy, but um, yeah. Here's a video for this week, and I think I'm gonna try to put two for this week. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, just in case this is your first time here, or if you're returning, I'm Michael, and this is Mike's Munchy Mayhem, and this is where I try snacks and I tell you guys what I think about them. So, let's get down to it, I think. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so the first thing we're gonna do, because I need to cook it, is... Uh, Mike's Mighty Good Beef Ramen. It's called a Kraft Ramen, and if you can see it, um, it's an instant, uh, instant rich broth steamed noodle thing. And that's how it looks like. Um, it says... Yeah, I don't know. This was the most expensive cup of noodle I've ever bought, so we're gonna try it right now. Um, I have some hot water here in my nice little cute little thing. I'm just gonna pour it in. Um, I think... It looks nice. I know it's not gonna look like this, but um, the packaging's nice. Um, it cost two dollars. I bought this at Walmart when I saw it. Oh, this is interesting. So it comes with little little noodle in here, right? And it comes with a packet of stuff and oil. Oh my gosh, I didn't prep for this. Oh my god, this is gonna be a disaster. Okay, so it says. Um, Fill it, okay, remove lid, put all the stuff in there, cover tightly. Okay, let's do it. Um, ha ha ha, all the powder in there. The powder, looks like powder. Mm. And then the oil just goes in there. <gasps> oh my God, okay, well, hmm. <laughs> and then we fill. Oh my god, I already spilled. Oh my god, this is atrocious. Okay, well. Well then. Hmm. <laughs> and then just cover. Just cover. Okay, so while that's cooking, let's see. We're at two minutes. It says cook for six minutes. So we'll go ahead and review some other stuff. Um, and if I need to do more, whatever. So, okay. So my thoughts on this so far, it's okay. So let's just keep going. So the next thing we're going to do is the Choco Mochi by Island Princess. Um, it says that it's Hawaii's finest macadamia nuts, chocolates, and confections. Um, these are chocolate-covered Japanese rice crackers. And I like the box. I mean the box, the thing that it's in. Um, the packaging is nice. I mean, you know. So, oh, and it's one and a half pounds. Um, I saw this at Tokyo Central, but I actually got this from my aunt in Hawaii and my grandma. So, actually my relatives in Hawaii. Wait, no, who gave this to me? Yeah, Auntie Janet, I think, gave this to me. So, shout out. Hi. Um, so, I saw this retail at Tokyo Central for almost close to 20-something dollars. You can find it on Amazon for $16. Um, but I think if you're in Hawaii, it could be a little cheaper. I mean... It's chocolate covered rice crackers, but we'll see how it tastes like. Okay, so you'll love the newest addition to our family, and it's uh, Island Princess Special Rich Milk Chocolate Covers Crunchy Japanese Rice Crackers, also known as Arare or Kaki Mochi Crackers. It's a salty, savory, sweet, and crunchy combination. Um, okay. Okay, let's try it. Whoa. Hmm, okay. So they look like this. Okay, hold on, can you, can you don't don't look at me. Don't look at me. I don't know. Is that better? Anyways. Hmm. They look kind of funky. But let's try it. Mm. So it's obviously sweet first. The taste. No, it just tastes sweet. Mmm. My God, they're so addicting already. Um, these do not taste like seaweed. Just for those people who feel like rice crackers always taste like seaweed. It doesn't. It just tastes like 
a normal rice cracker. I like the Quaker Oats rice crackers, but a bit crispier and more compact in, in crunchy texture. And overall, it's pretty smooth. I prefer dark chocolate things, and this feels like it tastes like a, a richer, a richer chocolate. Um, to me, this totally would remind me of um, just a nice, solid, solid contralto, you know? Um, or just like a really nice, strong, sturdy piece. I don't know if that makes any sense, but totally sturdy. Let's see. Oh my god, I hope this thing's cooking. Did I even get a fork? Oh, I have plastic forks. Anyways, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, okay, the next thing I'm going to try. Hmm, hold on. Oh, and you can zip it closed. I like things that can do this because, like, I'm kind of over using, like, flippy things. But I mean, yeah, you're supposed to eat them once. I should have finished it a long time ago. Anyways, these were good. I would totally reach for them again. Definitely would reach for them again. Um, yeah, it was really good. I would say try it. If you got the money, try it. Or if you get it free, try it. But anyways, the next thing we're going to try is this cute little mood bar. Um, so I got this at World Market, of course. And... Um, I know that they have others of this. This one was the cutest one. And there's a pink one I have somewhere that's champagne flavored, but I can't find it. So, but eventually that'll get reviewed. So this one is called um, the Dark Chocolate Espresso Moody Bar. And this is in the flavor uh, Dark Chocolate Espresso or Tired. So eat this when you're feeling tired, you know? And so, yeah, let's go ahead and try it. Oh my God, it's so cute. I don't want to kill it. But in the name of sites, you know. Anyways, so nice packaging, of course. It's just cute. Um, foil packaging, which is cute. Oh, and it comes in these little bars. So World Market loves its ridges, just saying. And so I'm sorry if you can hear things in the background, okay? Um, let's just try out. Mm. Hmm. So right away. You taste the sweetness of the dark chocolate. There's a grittiness of the espresso beans. Mm. And then the coffee shines through. Hmm. Hmm, this is really good. I would give this a solid baritone or solid, like, just a solid voice that wakes you up. Like, there's a nice richness and ringiness. I remember one time in grad school, the first time I heard this one particular bass, I was just like, whoa, that's Panty Dropper. Such a good voice. Guess who? Haha. <laughs> but anyways, gorgeous voice and he's doing great things. So let's see, where are we on time? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope it's cooked. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's wait a few more minutes. Um, I guess I'll show you the things that I think I'm gonna try. So, we're still gonna do this Korean barbecue chip thing. This one's gonna be Sunday's video. And um, I'll show you how I'm gonna eat this, okay? And then the next thing also that I'm gonna be reviewing are these chips. Um, I have tried the green ones, but these are yellow, so I'm gonna try it. And then, um, other things. Oh my god, my poor little kitchen table. Anyways, did I say how much this retailed for? This retailed for $1.99. Really cheap. If you want, like, nice chocolate that doesn't hurt too much, World Market's good. Mmm. Uh -huh. Let's see if this thing cooked. Six minutes is kind of a long time for instant noodles. Mom, let me just reach behind you to grab a fork. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my. So you can see there's like oiliness and stuff. It smells really good. It smells better than cup of noodle, but we knew that, especially since there was oil in it already. Like, of course that broth is gonna shine through. Oh my, I really hope this is cooked. It smells really good. Yeah. Um, it's not as pungent as like actually going to a ramen store, ramen store, ramen restaurant. Um, so it's not like in your face ramen, which I really like. Um, it smells very light. And the noodles, noodles, yeah. So let's just try it. Oh my God, it's gonna be so hard. Oh my God, I hope these noodles are cooked. I have choir rehearsal at 7.15 and right now it's like 6.35 so I'm like recording like in a hurry you know anyways let's try mm. don't look at me pervert just kidding mm. this tastes really good um, the sauce really holds, the soup really holds on to the noodles, so you can really get a good savoriness into it. Um, let's see what it said. It, was, it said it's like a nice, rich broth. Um, so since it clings to the noodles, I think so. Let's try the broth by itself. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Mmm, not bad. It actually, it's very ramen-y. I don't know, okay, no, that's not a word. Um, it has all the complex flavors of an actual restaurant style ramen, but very subtle. So it's still not cheap because this is expensive cup of noodle ramen, um, expensive. But if you're on a budget, and you don't want to spend like seven, eight dollars on some ramen, um, or a, actually, you know, it's like almost eight to twelve bucks for good ramen. Um, good enough ramen, you know. Um, this is good. It won't hurt your bank. And since there's even like little green flecks, it feels like it's a little bit more um, what's that word? Healthy. Ramen in general is not that healthy for you. If you drink too much of the broth, because it's a bit salty, but you know what, the the umami and the, um, just this, yeah, the savoriness of this is really good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay, stop watching me enjoy stuff now. Okay, just kidding. Um... So thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, I'm gonna put some things for you guys to listen underneath, right? Underneath. Um, what else am I gonna say? I have a few concerts coming up in March. Um, I have a few rehearsals here and there. It's great. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, tune in Sunday for a new video, and then I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to be on top of this, okay? gonna try to be on top of this so um yeah thanks for watching like subscribe okay peace out